Today we start celebrating Advent. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. Advent has a four-week course to it. And after the fourth Sunday of Advent, we immediately then celebrate Christmas. So the challenge for all of us is, what is the true meaning of Christmas? And that, we have to figure out what is the true meaning of Advent. In order to determine the meaning of Christmas and Advent, all you have to do is look at the cross of Christ. When you look at that cross, you see a grown man named Jesus hanging across cross for our sins. But what we know is this, Jesus comes into the world as a little baby at Christmas so he could grow up to become a, a man and die on a cross for our sins. The true meaning of Christmas, therefore, and Advent is one of sacrifice, to do something for someone else. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the poet, naturalist, storyteller, philosopher, once said the greatest gift you could possibly give another human being is not the gift of material possession. Those things don't last. He said the greatest gift you could possibly give another human being is the gift of thyself, to give yourself to someone else, a gift of sacrifice. If you know of someone tonight that needs help, help them. If you know someone that needs lifted up, lift them up. If you know of someone that needs a pat on the back, give them a pat on the back. Help someone else out. That is the meaning of, of Christmas and Advent. It turns out to be, whenever you do something for someone else, it is never at a time that's convenient. If you say to yourself, I'm going to help out my neighbor when I'm all caught out with my things and it's nice and convenient, then I will help you. That means what? You're never going to help anyone. Because when you offer assistance to someone else, patting them on the back, lifting them up, helping them in any way, shape, or form, it takes sacrifice. It is a time that's inconvenient. I had all these other things to do. Now I have to stop and help you? The answer is yes. That's the meaning of Christmas. That's the meaning of Advent. That's the meaning of the cross. It takes inconvenience to help someone else out. You know, there was this mom, she had three kids and her husband. Things were piling up at the house for the mom and it was getting close to Christmas. She had a lot of baking she wanted to do, a lot of laundry she wanted to do. She said to her husband, I'm going to take Wednesday off so I could get caught up with all the things I have to do. Okay, that would be just fine. Wednesday morning, everyone got up and mom could not wait to dig into all the things she had to do at the house. The husband went to work and two of her three kids went to school, but her little daughter, first grader, wasn't feeling well. And she was in bed. She had an upset stomach. So mom brought into the bedroom a little glass of, of ginger ale that always soothes an upset stomach. And mom said to the little daughter, you just sip on this ginger ale and stay in bed. And as you do that, I have a whole lot of things I'm going to do around the house and I'll check on you every so often. The little daughter said, no, mom, no, no, let's, let's play. Let's do something together. Well, the mom wasn't too excited about that, but she did not let her disappointment be known. And the mother said, okay, we'll, we'll play for about an hour. Then I got a lot of things I'm going to do, so I'm going to leave. So that's that playing together, and the daughter's having a great time. And after about an hour, mom said, honey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave, and I, I got a whole lot of things I'm going to do. But the daughter said, no, mom, no, keep playing with me. This is fun. So the mom said, okay. So they kept playing together. Next thing you know, it was near lunchtime. So the mom said to the daughter, I'm going to make us lunch. Mom put together an incredible lunch. It was like a five-course meal. She had everything on a tray. And she walks this big tray into the daughter's bedroom, and she puts it right on a bed. And her and her daughter, both sitting on a bed, are enjoying lunch together. All oh, that lunch was so big and so beautiful. It took about an hour to eat. They're eating it together. And they're talking and laughing and having a good time. After lunch was over, mom said to the daughter, you know, honey, what would be a good idea? You take a nap, and I'm going to do a lot of things I have to do around the house. And the little daughter said, said, no, mom, no, no. Let's play together. Let's keep playing. So they kept playing together. After about an hour after playing together, mom thought to herself, well, maybe she'll take a nap. Now she's got to be tired. So mom suggested the daughter take a nap, but the daughter would hear nothing about taking a nap. The daughter kept saying, no, mom, let's play, let's play, let's do things together. So the mom figured, okay. So they spent the entire afternoon playing games together, board games and games on a computer, and they were just having a good old time. And finally it was getting evening, and dad came home, and her other kids came home from school, and it was time to make supper. So mom made supper. The entire family sat together. They had a beautiful meal together. 
after supper, mom said to little daughter, you know, it's uh, your brothers are here, so maybe you can play with them. I'm going to do a, a lot of things. I have to get caught up in the house. And mom looked at daughter, and what do you think she said? You're right. No, mom, let's play together. Let's keep playing. This has been fun. So the mother said, okay. So her and her daughter, they kept playing, doing things together. Finally, it was time to go to bed. So the mom helped the daughter get her teeth brushed and change her pajamas into a fresh set of pajamas. And then mom started to tuck the little girl into bed. She got her in bed and she was ready to put the blankets around her. And mom was bending down to give her little daughter a good night kiss. Just as she bent down to give her a kiss, the little daughter reached up and grabbed her mom by the neck and started to squeeze real hard and give her a real big kiss. And she looked at her mom and she said, Mom, thank you for spending the entire day with me today. This has been the greatest day of my life. And after they separated, the mom was leaving the room, a tear fell from the mother's eye. And she thought to herself, I did nothing that I had planned on doing today. But I have achieved more than I ever thought possible. Because I gave the whole day to my daughter. There's a very good chance when that little gal grows up to be 30 and 40 years old, when she's a mom, she's going to look back on the days of her life and she's always going to remember one. I remember the day that my mom had a thousand things to do and she spent the entire day with me. That was the greatest day of my life. Sacrifice and convenience demand sacrifice. And that's what happened. Oh, mom initially did not want to do that the entire day, but she did. And the daughter never forgot it. You know, one thing about Advent and Christmas, we get real wrapped up in the trappings of Christmas. Sometimes we get so busy we ignore the very people we're trying to do things for. Think about that. Does that make any sense? To get short and aggravated as you're trying to do something for the very person you're doing all this work for. Now think about it. Maybe what you should really do for this Advent for Christmas Day is to get some wrapping paper and wrap yourself up in wrapping paper. And give yourself to your family. And there's a very good chance they're going to say that's the greatest gift I can ever have received is you. Emerson was right. The greatest gift you could possibly give another human being is the gift of thyself. How many parents spend a whole lot of money buying their sons and daughters an expensive gift, maybe a big television, only to have them play with the box? If I knew you were going to play with the box, I could have saved the pile of money. But what they're really saying is, I didn't want the TV. I actually don't need the box. What I want to play with is you, Mom, you, Dad, you, Brother, you, Sister. That's where my memories are made, playing with the people in my family. When mom went to tuck her little daughter to bed and give her a kiss, the daughter grabbed the mom by the neck and gave her a real big squeeze. And she said, Mom, think about it. As you're racing around trying to get all the things perfect for Advent and Christmas, don't forget what the most important thing is. It's giving of yourself to those you love. And the little daughter grabbed her mom by the neck and gave her a big kiss and she said, Mom, Thank you for spending the entire day with me today. This has been the greatest day of my life. 